In this next video, we will take a look at entering your high school data. First, put in the month and year of your graduation, then click Add School. You will likely want to do a search with the country, state, and school name, but if you know your school's SEEB code or CEEB code, you can enter that as well. We recommend searching by high schools only as we don't need to see your courses you completed before ninth grade. If you are homeschooled or earning a GED, click on the provided links. For example, we are going to search for Newark High School in Newark, Delaware. First, we are going to type in Newark, then confirm the high school, and finally, select Newark High School. To add another school, select Add Another School and repeat the previous steps. For college classes, including dual enrollment, please remember that we require what is on your high school transcript to be submitted with your SRAR. For any college courses completed outside of your high school work and not reported on your high school transcript, please send that separately to the Office of Undergraduate Admissions at the University of Delaware. If you accidentally choose the wrong school, you can click on the trash can icon to delete it or choose a recycle icon to change the school. Now that you have your high school selected, you will see the following sections. Dates of attendance, grade scale, and most of my courses at this school are. For dates of attendance, select the date you started and the date that you will end your education at this high school. For grade scale, you want to know how your high school lists grades. If they are A, B, C, etc., you will choose letter grades. If your grades are listed 80, 85, 90, and the like, you will choose number grades. If you have a mix of the two, select letters and numbers. And lastly, if your school uses decimals, such as an 80.5, you will select other. Now that we've selected our grading scale, we want to select how often our grades are reported. For most of my courses at this school are, you will want to choose how often your grades are provided on your transcript. Let's show you some examples. We'll start by showing you what it looks like when you would report grades by semester. Here, you will see that there are clearly two semesters and no final average. If your transcript looks like this, then you will select that most of my courses at the school are semester. In contrast, if you do have final grades recorded, you will select yearly because the semesters are averaged to a final grade. When you are done with your school information, select Enter Coursework. We are ready for the next step.